Hey everyone, welcome back to Without Code. My name is Ashton, and today we're walking through our new Calendly widget for the web builder. Calendly is an awesome interactive scheduling tool for your website that's fantastic for scheduling events and appointments, and also a great tool for clients to book appointments directly through their website. It's perfect for professions like massage therapists, hairstylists, trainers, music teachers, or any industry really that involves appointments of any kind. Larger companies can use this as well for things like webinars, classes, meetings, and more. This is a dynamic widget, meaning that you could drop this on a customer's website, publish, and Calendly does the rest. If the customer is set up with a Calendly account, any appointment made through the website will be updated in their Calendly account instantly. Here on our demo, we have two different display types visible to access the platform. We have an embedded option here where we can see these two events. This mode will show all of your events at once, regardless of the quantity. And down here on the bottom right of the screen, we have a pinned button with a pop-up incorporated when we click. Now this is a separate instance of the widget that uses a pinned button, which can be set to any corner of the page of your choosing. There's also a third display mode that we're not showing on the demo here that uses a standard text link, which triggers the same kind of pop-up that we just saw, just like a button. But in this case, it can be utilized as an active text hyperlink to sit anywhere you like. As you can see, the user interface is seamless and very smooth, and as a site visitor, I can easily and swiftly sign up for an event here in no time at all. Calendly claims to have 2 million users a month, and they've done a fantastic job with integrations. You can easily integrate with existing Google Calendars, Outlook, iCloud, and more. There's also a variety of pricing plans, including a free plan with a variety of different features and perks. I'm going to switch over to my Calendly dashboard where I'm already logged in. Now we've created an account for the use of this demo so I can walk you through how to integrate it with the widget in Without Code. Now I'm not going to walk through all of the bits and pieces of Calendly as it is very easy to use and they do have some great training resources on their website, but we're here to show you how to get the necessary links to use in your site. Now, once you've created a few events, you'll see them listed here in your My Calendly section of your account, and this is where you'll acquire the links that you're going to need for the widget over in Without Code. Now, if you're planning to display all events at once on your web page, this link right here is what you're going to need to copy. And if you just want to display an individual event, all you need to do is click the Copy Link prompt associated with the event you're going to work with. Let me switch over to Without Code, where I'm working with our Life Coach theme, and if I scroll down just a bit, I've cleared a row here for us to work with where I can drop our Calendly widget. So let's grab it from the Widgets panel, drag it out, and drop it into our row. There we go. And we're getting this error message here since we don't have it yet linked up to our Calendly account, but that's going to change very shortly. Inside the settings panel here, it's first going to ask you for a unique ID, which you can leave this alone if this is your only instance of the widget on your page. If you use multiples of this widget, you'll just need to give each one its own unique ID. And this would be the case if you wanted to, say, have an embedded form on the page and also a pinned button in the corner of the page as well. Now, since we're going to demonstrate a few versions, let me make this unique ID Calendly-Embed. Cool. So when we drop another widget here later, it will make it so that there won't be two instances of the widget with the same ID. So let's jump back to our Calendly account, and let's copy this link here for using all of our events simultaneously. There we go. Back to the widgets panel, and we're going to paste it here in the event link field. And depending on where you copy your link from, you may get this little URL error message here asking you to put the HTTPS. So we'll just go ahead and add that at the front so it's recognized as a proper link. Perfect. There. Now we can see the widget functioning properly, and we can already see the events that we've set up in the Calendly account here. Our next option here is Display Mode. Inline embed. Now this is how you're going to show an embedded display on your site as we see here now. It's a full window in plain view showing directly on the page. Now if you're using your main account link, this will show all of the events that you have. If you use a single event link, it'll only embed that one event. Next option is pop-up pinned button, and this option will display a persistent pinned button in any selected corner of your page, and then clicking that button would open a pop-up where the site visitor can complete an appointment sign-up just like before. And the third option is pop-up text link, and this option utilizes a standard text link to trigger the Calendly pop-up. For the first example here, let's use an inline embed. 
Now we may notice that the embed is cut off a little bit here at the bottom and this brings up an important setting which can be found in the design tab and that is height. So let's jump over there. And we have a slider here that we can slide up higher until we get the full window in view of our widget space here as we can now see here at the bottom. This allows the widget more space to display the embed. Now if your event has a lot of times to choose from, the embed will automatically display a scroll bar to access all of the options. Back to the content section of our settings panel here. This option here for hide event details. This setting strips out all of the event information except the title, but only for single events. If you're using the main account link, it will show the title and description. Let's do a quick preview here in the editor to see everything showing up nicely. Perfect. Now I wanna quickly show you how we can display a single event. So let's jump back to our Calendly account. And instead of using our full account URL, let's click here on the marketing workshop event where it says copy link. And that's it. Back to the widget. Let's paste this link in place of the old one here. And right away we can see it update here in the editor to only show us the one event that we copied the link for. I'll also mention here that this is the situation where the hide event details option will strip out all but the title. Let's preview this again. Perfect. Everything's showing up beautifully. Lastly here, let's check out a pop-up version of this widget. And to do this, I'm actually going to drop another instance of this widget onto the page. For now, I can just place it right above our current one, but the placement in this case of the pop-ups does not matter. This can be placed anywhere on the page because the placement of the button is configured in the design panel. We can change the unique ID here to Calendly-Button, and we're going to paste here in the Event Link field. Now let's set the display mode to pop-up pinned button. There we go. And we can now see our pinned button showing up here on the bottom right side of our page. And we can even edit the button text here as well. So let's enter book a slot. And depending on your browser, you may find that the button doesn't update itself automatically here in the editor, but that's okay. If you want to do a proper preview, simply copy the preview link available to us up here under the eye icon. And we'll just paste that into a new tab. And there we go. Our updated button is showing nicely, and with a simple click, we can access our event in no time. Really quick before I close out, I want to jump back to the design section of our settings panel. The first main option here is height, which I did mention earlier. And beneath this is where you can determine which corner of the page that the pop-up button will appear if you're using one. And beneath that are three more sections of styling, each pertaining to different elements. And most of these are pretty self-explanatory, but you can explore embed styling here, button styling here, and text styling right here. And then of course, spacing settings for the widget down here at the bottom as well. So that's our Calendly widget. Thanks for watching. Have fun with this powerful integration tool. And if you have any technical issues at all, don't hesitate to reach out to us in support. Thanks again, and hope to catch you in another tutorial soon. Cheers.